In today's economy, providing strong leadership is critical to the success of your business. And it's been said that good leaders are made, not born. Our next guest has some tips to help you turn into a good business leader and help lead your business into growth even during this time. Robert Kaplan is a professor of management practice at Harvard Business School, and he joins us today. It's so great to see you, Rob. Good to see you. All right. People, a lot of times, have to be a good leader when they go through their office doors, even if at night they can't even sleep and they're worried about what's happening tomorrow. One of the first things you say is prepare for a long downturn, which is a little bit different than what a lot of people say, where they say start preparing for when things turn around. Well, I, what I'm suggesting is do both. Uh, prepare your employees during this downturn that the recovery will be sluggish. It will take longer than people expect. Uh, most downturns have been followed by a V-shaped recovery because there's a huge amount of household debt unprecedented. That deleveraging is going to take a number of years. And so my advice is prepare yourself mentally and your employees that, that you stay calm and stay forward-looking even though this may last longer than you think. So manage expectations, basically. Yeah, and manage yourself. Get your sleep, eat, eat properly, exercise. This is going to be longer than you expect. Okay, then you say do the clean sheet of paper exercise. What's that? It means this is a time to bring brainstorm. Okay. This is a time to step back and think about what are my two or three core competencies and how would I design this business, given those competencies, if I could start over. It is a great thing to involve three or four top employees in and literally go back and rethink the whole business. And you will find out, because we are in a different period, you need to restructure, pull away from some markets. Uh, but this is the time to do that. And then over-communicate your vision and priorities. Yes. Could that get annoying or no? Well, the problem is... Almost every leader uh, during crises has an in instinct to communicate less, not more. And what we, we, I advise people, and I do myself, is this is the time to over-communicate. And that means what's the aspiration, mission of the business, but more importantly, what are the two or three things you want your employees doing? And you need to say it over and over and over again to the point that maybe they even mock you. That's a good point to air. That's a good way to air. I mean, it becomes, it could become kind of a fun rallying cry, right? So it gets the team together and you're all working towards the same goal. And in periods of uh, economic stress, there is confusion. People are uncertain. Your job is to make people more certain about what they're supposed to do. And, and that goes to the last one, which is be calm and look forward. And that's to my point of, I don't care how you're feeling at two in the morning when you can't sleep. When you walk in, you are the leader. That's right. And you may be feeling scared and, uh, and you may feel like you want to blame someone else. This is not the time for blame. This is the time for taking but, ownership. But you know, it's easy for us to say that, but how, what advice do you give someone to do that? You know, do, check your emotions at the door, or what do you sometimes, see a yeah, therapist? Sometimes what good leaders do is, as you say, you've got to manage your people, but the first thing you've got to manage is yourself. You've got to manage your emotions, and that means count to ten, uh, understand what makes you stressed out, and, and stop yourself, because if you blame people, if you lose your cool, all your employees will take their cue from you, and they will do the same thing. You want people forward-looking and looking for opportunities. You don't want them covering, uh, covering themselves or worried about who to blame. Right. All right. Rob Kaplan, thanks so much. All right. Thank you.